What's good guys and welcome back to the channel for fitness life and good advice and for today's video I will teach you I will try to teach you the running double unders. Let's go What's good guys and welcome back to the channel for fitness life and good advice and if you're new here consider to subscribe to this channel for more jump rope videos like this one and also guys if you want to use the rope that I use this is from simply fitness ph link down below so for today's video guys we will do a tutorial on the running double unders marami nagtatanong sa akin about this so before that guys i would like to thank all of you who subscribed we are now at 10k i can't believe 10,000 na tao ang nagsubscribe sa channel na to and thank you guys so much for that and keep sharing keep liking it and keep subscribing para dumami pa tayo lumaki yung jump rope community because the goal is to make jump rope kind of like mainstream na and also comment down below kung meron pa kayong gustong malaman na trick or any video about jump rope so that everything out of the way let's get to the video so just like in my other videos before we get into the trick itself we need to learn the prerequisite tricks to get into the running double unders. So first of all, we need to learn the double unders. So the double unders is having the rope pass through you two times in one jump. If you want to learn this trick, check out the video in the upper right corner of this video or in my channel. Now the next trick that you want to learn is the running in place. This trick is one of the basic tricks that you have to learn in jumping rope. You can also find this trick in my video about 3 beginner tricks in my channel. So lastly, you need to learn the single leg jump. So this is basically doing a regular bounce with one foot or one leg only. Try performing this about 10 to 20 times per leg to strengthen your calves to help you get into the running double unders later on. Now the next things that I suggest to consider are the rope and the shoes. So for the rope details, I suggest to use a rope that has a little weight on it. Now a lot of you are asking about the rope that has weights to the handles like in the picture. I don't recommend it because it doesn't contribute to the feedback of the rope. I suggest to use a thick rope like a 5 to 6 mm rope. I am using this Dawn Edition from Simply that is about 5.3 thick. And guys, I'm telling you, this rope is super great for double unders. If you want to try it, check it out in the link in the description below. Now for the rope, I suggest to go a little below the chest area because a shorter rope helps you to spin it faster. But it is still up to you because some jumpers like a long rope as well. Now for the shoes, I would not recommend to go barefoot on this trick because it might hurt you if you trip on the rope i suggest to use a shoe that has a thick outsole and a good bounce because this will help you go higher and also protect your feet from the rope as well let us now get to the progression of the trick now the first progression is doing the single leg double unders the single leg double unders is one of the hardest things about doing the running double unders that is why i made this a top priority for your progression so the key here is not to use the balls of your feet too much so i know you are going to write in the comments section down below that aren't you supposed to always use the balls of your feet uh, in a sense yes but in order to generate enough power from a single leg you will have to slightly use the middle part of your foot just take note that my legs are not straight my legs are slightly bent to reduce the impact on my heels and on my knees i suggest to try a single leg double under with your dominant leg first common mistake in this trick is putting your other leg in the back to learn the running double unders faster try to practice that the leg that is not touching the floor is in a high knees position instead of putting it in the back this is because in the high knees position you will be able to generate more power than if your foot is on the back and also it is more fluid for the trick if your foot is in the high knees position the next progression is doing the trick without the rope. Like in all other tricks, it is very important to try it without the rope first to build your timing and confidence towards the trick. So you can tap your hands on your thighs like what I'm just doing to mimic double under wrist rotation. You can also do wrist rotations if you want. The third progression is the alternating single foot 
double unders. So after performing the single leg double unders, try alternating it between each regular bounce. Meaning, do one single leg with your left, then go back to regular bounce, then do it with your right, then go back to regular bounce. So you can also just add a pause in between. So left foot double under, pause, then right foot double under. So let's get to the drills that you can do to master the trick. So like in all other tricks as well, you have to do it slowly first. So this trick is quite difficult guys. So you have to do it slowly. Just go with one foot first and then the other foot and then just do it slowly and eventually you get to the speed that you want. Another tip or drill is to lower your arms and put it slightly forward. So as you can see in the video, I am slightly putting my arms forward so that I will not trip on the rope. Because if you put your hands on the back, you're going to make the rope shorter, thus making it easier for you to trip on the rope. And lastly, you have to do it one at a time first, guys. So when I was practicing this trick, I did this one at a time after practice or after workout, after doing a lot of tricks, I'll try to do this one at a time, meaning I'll try to do it with my left foot first and then I just get back to it with my right foot. So in that way, my feet are getting used to the movement of the trick. So after doing the progressions and the drills, you can now try the trick itself. So just remember that you have to use the middle part of your foot, not just your toes, because that will generate more power. And also guys, the most important thing is just practice, practice, practice. Like I say in all other tricks, the key is just to practice, practice, practice. There's no secret. Some can easily get this, but some cannot. So don't compare yourselves to others, guys. So just practice and comment down below how the trick went for you. That was it, guys. I hope you learned the running double unders. Uh, medyo mahirap yung jump rope trick na to, but still, guys, you just need to practice and be patient and eventually you'll get it, all right? Thank you guys for watching. And if you found value in this video, subscribe to this channel right now for more jump rope videos like this one. And also the rope that I use, again, Simply Fitness PH. And also the shirt that I use, Simply Fitness PH. Link down below. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.